it, buddy? Is that a delicious leaf? Happy birthday, dear Bindi. Happy birthday to you. Hey, Bib. Hooray! Hey, Bib. Hooray! Hey, Bib. Hooray! Happy birthday, Bindi. Sorry, that is all. Bindi's an interesting person. She's a little bit like Steve and a little bit like me. And as she grew up, she had this passion and affinity for wildlife like you wouldn't believe. I just loved absolutely everything. I loved every single animal and wanted to hug it and kiss it no matter what. <laughs> Hi, sweetheart. Look at those eyes. They are just giant and adorable. We're just Hi, about baby. to put him back in the pouch. Oh, my goodness. So, um, you are he's so had a good small. Oh, sweetheart, you are so beautiful. Look at your wagon! I wish that I had a wagon to get around the zoo in. Have you guys been having family issues? <laughs> Are you ready, love? This is it. Here we go. I'm going to set you right here. And you can just go. And you're free. You're wild. I wanted to be just like Dad. I wanted to be catching snakes and wrangling crocodiles. Woo! Dad was very kind. He started me off slow, so I was known as kind of the gecko hunter to begin with and then worked my way up to snakes and things. Beautiful. Growing up, Bindi was very special. And as an adult, she still has that determination. Five, eight, two, seven, five, eight. Got it, snout vent, next. Not everyone knew Steve was a very science-minded person. He published a number of papers and he loved the research part of conservation. And I've noticed um, that's Bindi's passion. This little crocodile can hardly even feel what we're doing when we're taking these teeny, tiny tissue samples. So about that, do you think? Yep. Some people will say to me, will you ever stop working with wildlife? Is this ever going to get boring for you? And I think my jaw drops to the floor every time someone asks me that. This is, this is living the dream. This is who I am. It's the little things in life, right? <laughs>